Faced with the dual challenge of climate change and economic constraints, farmers in St. Lucia are encountering unprecedented hurdles. Heightened occurrences of pests and diseases are jeopardizing vital crops like vegetables and root crops, thereby placing considerable strain on the livelihoods of dependent farmers. Moreover, the prohibitive costs associated with crucial inputs, particularly fertilizers and organic agrochemicals, are a deterrent to the involvement of farmers in agriculture, specifically impacting women, youth, and men engaged in rural farming. However, SAC has played a pivotal role in facilitating a dynamic partnership between E&E and e Agrochemicals, the Ministry of Agriculture Extension Service and Select Farmers. This collaborative effort aims to dismantle barriers that impede access to inputs, especially expensive organic agrochemicals. This partnership underscores the dedication to addressing concerns related to affordability and safety associated with organic agrochemicals within the farming community of St. Lucia and the broader Caricom region. Well, I came about this project from a close acquaintance of mine, which is um, Eugene Gabriel from Agromax. He's the one that introduced me to the whole WUSC program. Yeah. And since I've been a close farmer friend with him from the from the beginning of Ian e &E Agrochemical, he decided to invite me on the program. This Ian e &E Agrochemicals, I mean the, pro the the product lineup that they carry, it has been a big game changer in the whole farming perspective. So a crop that maybe would take maybe. 60 days I'll maybe get it in like 45 so that's like 15 days earlier so quicker turnover a better yield uh, increased in yield the availability that's always a big issue with the agrochemicals when you need something you wouldn't find it at the moment and when you ask for it then they'll tell you well, it's on a container especially with the COVID situation everything was a big weight but we have in the products readily available on island. It's a quicker turnover to get the goods readily av available. From anywhere between 15 to 30% increase, uh, increase. This exciting venture encompasses a range of activities aimed at developing, testing, validating, and promoting organic agrochemicals, including fertilizers. Additionally, it focuses on building efficient methods to manage plant nutrients, both in soil and soilless cultivation, through on-farm product validation crop trials conducted at multiple locations across St. Lucia. The traditional fertilizers, I mean, my, the use, the usage I used to do before, like the dosage, the usage, how many times I would have to do it, that has been brought down. So maybe if I had to use fertilizers three times in a crop or four times, by about now maybe about twice I'll use it. It has cut costs and I mean I use it in my weekly and bi-weekly spraying program. One of the key goals of this initiative is to provide affordable solutions that reduce the impact of organic agrochemical costs and mitigate the misuse in production systems. Furthermore, it aspires to facilitate access to gender-sensitive markets through these cost-effective solutions. My name is Eugene Gabriel. I am the founder and managing director of e, &E Agrochemicals. My company was, was founded in the year 2019 um, with our flagship product, Agromax. One of the main issues a lot of farmers have been having is productivity, increasing productivity. And when we develop Agromax, we had one goal in mind. The farmer reducing his cost of fertilizer and also increasing his cost, his um, production output, basically. My collaboration with WUS, um, I've extended over four, four plots on island. Marquis Estate, Denry, Roseau, and Denry Valley. The, with Together with WUS, we are validating Agromax to make sure that the farmers are actually getting what they deserve from our product. So Agromax is different from the normal fertilizers because one, every single ingredient was made from an organic substance. Two, 
we use tech we use the technology that we actually use is actually based on what our soil capabilities are actually in St. Lucia so what we did before actually creating the product we did some soil testing and from that analysis we realized what the farmers actually needed and placed it into Agromax to benefit them at the end of the day. An essential element in adapting to climate change and adopting new technologies is real-time technology display and validation in the very location where it's needed. Therefore, E&E &E actively supporting on-farm research involving local farmers who play a vital role in testing the various products and services offered by the company right in their own fields. My name is um, Randy Gustav, farmer from Black Bay. My main crop, as you can see, is cucumbers, and I've been using um, the products of E&E &E Agrochemicals for the past three years or so, and I can attest and say that I have seen a major improvement in my garden and my yielding as well. The more vigorous vines, more yielding in the fruits, and Overall, I could say a more longevity of the crop. I met Eugene way back and you know he told me that there were you know some products he's going to be releasing. Now I'm a kind of farmer, I'm always you know willing to learn new stuff, you know, to try out new things, to explore. So he told me he has new products coming out, Agromax and Nitro Pro. So I told him, well, when he's releasing those products, let me know. And he gave me a sample and from then I was hooked due to the increase in my production and my longevity of harvesting and overall my crop health. I've gotten a better fruit quality and the fruit shelf life is way longer due to have less white spots on my cucumbers. They are very green so they last longer, longer shelf life and I don't get much complaints with my products anymore. Before using the products, I used to get a lot of spoilage. Um, my crop wouldn't last as long and a lot of complaints from my customers because I, if they don't last long, time two days, three days, they would yellow or some would begin to rotten. So in using the, pro the new products, I can say that I have seen a great improvement in my crops as well. My crop life, shelf life, and yielding as well. First, with the yielding, I have seen, depends on the weather, sometimes 30%, 40% increasing in my yields. In terms of, let's say, weight-wise, if I were to harvest, let's say, 2,000 pounds, I'll be harvesting 3,000, sometimes 3,500 pounds per harvest harvest and shelf life if let's say my produce would last um, three to five days they would normally last right now anywhere between 12 13 days longer yes I am Kesha Daniel 33 out of the Mabuya Valley and have been farming for about four years my farming practices I would like to describe it as a hybrid more or less I am not an organic farmer however I use biological methods to enhance my production and to safeguard the environment. Uh, the major crop that I grow is cabbages and pineapples. I met with Eugene, um, I would say through um, various youth forums and agricultural seminars. Uh, we began having discussions on his line of products and he indicated that he wanted to uh, have me test some of his his um, agrochemicals on my farm. Through my encounters with him, we formed this partnership and the intention behind it was not only to gather data for his product, but also to use it as a training ground for young persons who wanted to get involved in the sector. Going through the trials, um, there were definitely some significant changes with regards to the overall health of my produce. I noticed that, um, for instance, at the time I was doing tomatoes, they were a lot more resistant to uh, the effects of the weather. However, uh, one of the disadvantages that we noted, because that I use a lot of open field, 
we conducted trials in the rainy season so that really see the, that significantly impacted um, the, the production and the output that we were hoping for. The overall health of the plant was the most significant and like I indicated earlier, um, it has been a great challenge for me to grow tomatoes, especially with the type of soil that I have and um, being again not in a protective environment, we have no greenhouses, it's strictly open field. Um, the flowering of the plant occurred at a more earlier rate than when I had used other agrochemicals in the past. Um, the number of fruits that we saw on the plant definitely um, increased as well and uh, I would say um, given the conditions under which we were growing, there, the results were pretty impressive. During the trial we uh, did uh, tomatoes and um, unfortunately being the peak of the rainy season we were not able to get a fruitful harvest. However, in the past having used um, Agrimax or I should say Nitro Pro with my production of cabbage, there was definitely an impressive difference in the yield. My cabbage heads were a lot larger, they were a lot more resistant to pests and disease and um, definitely I would say there was an increase in, in the shelf life of my cabbages throughout that period. Being a cabbage farmer, um, one of my main issues on the farm was with regards to my cabbage heads. They were not forming as I would have liked, they were splitting, they were um, being inundated with a number of pests and disease issues. Um, the, the yield at the end of the season as opposed to what was planted, it was very disappointing and after having used Nitro Pro, um, there was a significant change in how my, my crops began to grow. Even from at the nursery stages, I would see um, the leaves were a lot larger, greener, more vibrant and after transplanted into the field, um, the survival rate definitely increased. Um, prior to that, uh, one week after transplanting, I would suffer, let's say, 30% loss in terms of my plants not being able to, to um, resist that initial transplant shock. But after using Nitro Pro and Agrimax, they were able to more, I should say, thrive in um, the conditions outside of my nursery. For me, um, using these agrochemicals, they could be applied in many different forms. Here at Fresh Harvest, we do fertigation where we apply it directly to our irrigation lines. We also do it through the use um, of the sprayer, for instance. So um, I think it's very versatile being able to um, apply that nutrient when I need it and how I need it with little to no intervention on my end um, and also very little manpower. So I'm definitely looking forward to more use of of the product line and to see how my um, overall production enhances and thrives under Mr. Eugene's chemicals. Through continued partnership, these players can create sustainable and innovative solutions that will lead to a more resilient and inclusive agricultural market system in St. Lucia. The Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean SAC project is implemented by the World University Service of Canada, WUSC, with funding support from the Government of Canada through Global Affairs Canada. The project implemented in Dominica, Guyana, Jamaica, St. Lucia and Suriname seeks to promote climate resilient agriculture for equitable growth and increased prosperity of women and youth in agriculture.